Hello, everybody. So you all know Roland Emmerich. He's that German director who seems mostly obsessed up till now with smashing up the planet or New York, at least. Uh, Independence Day, day after tomorrow, 2012. Even Godzilla ends a bit messily for Manhattan. So not perhaps the most obvious candidate to be our guide into Elizabethan England on the trail of William Shakespeare. Because there's long been huge, great, ink blotchy question marks about whether a man called Shakespeare did actually write all those wonderful plays and sonnets. Or if, in fact, it was someone else entirely. And Emmerich's new movie, Anonymous, brings one of those explosive theories fully to life. Congratulations on the film. A strong, strident theory that the man we call William Shakespeare didn't write all the plays. Can I just ask how much you think it matters whether we know which man actually did it? It doesn't matter at all, but it's great to discuss it because you learn a little bit more about the plays. And for you, um, the most likely candidate is Edward de Vere, Reese Evans character. Um, why particularly do you settle on him? I think there's uh, some striking similarities of his life to the plays and to the works. Listen, you play the character of William Shakespeare in this movie, a man, a man squarely um, directed to be not the writer of the plays. Yeah, um, how did you go about sort of going for a role which most actors would want to play, I guess, but then suddenly having to play him as, as a charlatan? Well, I got sent the script and my agent said, they want you to play William Shakespeare. And I was like, wow, that's amazing, what an honour. And then I read the script and I went, oh, OK. Not so much of an honour. Oh, all right. Yeah, idiot Shakespeare, yeah. William Shakespeare, that's got me all over it. <laughs> None of your poems or your plays will ever carry your name. And fabulous cast to play that role with. Oh, mate, you know, and if you think that Reese Fans is the same guy who was Spike in Notting Hill, and now he's playing the Earl of Oxford, that's a monumental achievement. You've got Vanessa Redgrave and Jolie and David Thewlis, you know, these are some of my favourite actors of all time. And why we are here today. But what if I told you Shakespeare never wrote a single word? No one knows, for, for real. There's nothing, there's no, there, are, there is no body of evidence that you could pre present uh, before a jury or a court of law that proves who the author of Shakespeare is. Therefore, we have a question, who wrote them? All this film does is uh, propose a, a, a candidate for that authorship. If you look at the evidence to support uh, William Shakespeare of Stratford, it's um, pretty slim in comparison to the, to, to, so I veer towards the veer. Promise me you'll keep our secret safe. Um, your character, William Cecil, the villain of the piece, really, in, in, in Roland's eyes and, and probably in the eyes of many historians yeah. as well, um, uh, must have been a nice character to play, dark, villainy. Um, and yeah, they're, always, they're always more fun. I don't know why that is. I get asked that a lot, but it's always more fun to play a villain. I think they're multifaceted and there's lots of different shades to them. Sometimes when you're playing just a good, a good guy, they're just good. And there's nothing very, you know, there's nothing to get your, your teeth into. And, uh, and this guy is such a almost pantomimic villain and I get to age 40 years and, you know, so it's, it's, yeah, it's a very enjoyable, very enjoyable part to play. Spoken to Rhys Evans, who plays Edward de Vere, the Earl of Oxford, when he's a little bit older, and you play the very same character when he's younger. Fun to see that written on the page? Wonderful. I mean, wonderful. You know, I, I suppose being a young actor, it's always nice to, uh, to play young rather than to play older than you are. And you get to roll around in bed with few clothes on again. Sure, yeah. You know, it's a bit of bum cheek. Why not? You know, if you ever need a bum, I'm your man. Were you ever worried, um, I'll bear that in mind, were you ever worried uh, that, uh, that your director was going to smash in a meteorite and blow up the globe at any point? Oh, uh, yeah, terrified. I was constantly terrified. Every day on set, I thought I might die. So, to be or not to be, that clearly isn't the question here. It's did he or did he not? And the film clearly thinks it knows the answer. It's not perfect by any means, but it's rich and energetic and impassioned and full of big performances. So well worth having a look and making up your own mind or at least starting to think about it. And tomorrow, it's time for the prizes as the stars come out for the festival award ceremony.